There have been daily demonstrations in Athens and other Greek cities since the killing of Pavlos Fisas Tuesday night. The 34-year-old activist and rapper was stabbed to death in a suburb of the capital. The main suspect is a self-proclaimed supporter of the Golden Dawn Party, though the party insists he is not a member. Greek Prime Minister Antonis Samaras issued a warning Thursday. This government is determined not to allow the descendants of Nazis to poison our lives, to commit crimes, to terrorize and to undermine the foundations of the country that gave birth to democracy. Golden Dawn's leader, Nikolaos Mikaloliakos, gave a statement strongly refuting the accusations. Golden Dawn has said that it condemns these specific tragic events and others. It condemns every act of violence. But this is not enough for the whole Inquisition of Greece 2013, created by this bailout government. They should know that they will not succeed in their plans. Greek police have asked for permission to check Golden Dawn lawmakers' phone records on the night of the killing. Local media say prosecutors are investigating 32 allegations of violent attacks by party members. Authorities are using existing legislation to take on Golden Dawn rather than trying to ban the party, says Dionysus Dimitrakopoulos of Birkbeck College, University of London. First of all, use uh, criminal legislation and secondly, use the counter-terrorism legislation and squad that exists in Greece, which is foreign trained. They behave, uh, from what I can see, like a criminal gang and uh, a case could possibly be made that, in fact, this is a, a, a terrorist group. Golden Dawn caused shockwaves when it took 7% of the vote in 2012 to become Greece's third biggest party. Its campaigns are fiercely anti-immigrant. But Golden Dawn denies being a neo-Nazi movement. Again, Dionysus Dimitrakopoulos. There is some support for uh, this uh, neo-Nazi uh, group even in parts of Greece where there is no direct and major problem of criminality or um, significant numbers of illegal immigrants. The traditional explanation is that at times of economic crisis and soaring unemployment, Greeks are turning to extreme politics. But Dimitrakopoulos says there is a deeper cause rooted in the political response to the debt crisis. The Greek political establishment no longer commands the uh, legitimacy that it used to command or it should command. So ordinary Greeks, at least between uh, elections, find it too easy to say that they would consider voting for that kind of party. In January, Greece takes over the rotating presidency of the European Council and analysts say the government is desperate to show that it is capable of fighting extremism. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.